For a decade now, a UTSA professor has been exploring a sweet endeavor. He's trying to dip into the healing benefits of honey for wound care and even try to find the one that can outperform what's already out there on the market. Tiffany Huertas takes us to a lab at UTSA in the search for a better honey. So you can use honey for wound healing, for uh, bacterial infections, or for gastrointestinal diseases. UTSA biology professor Farhat Osterk has been studying honey for about 10 years. In his latest research, he hopes to find honey in the U.S. that contains the best healing properties. There are medicinal honey available in the world right now, uh, and it's only coming from New Zealand and some from Australia. But um, I work on the honeys from the United States and I make, uh, I'll try to see how they can have their medicinal properties and how it can we use them for wound healing for other diseases. Professor Osterk has been collecting honey from Texas and from San Antonio, honey that can potentially be used for medical purposes. I get my uh, honey samples from the beekeepers and I use them on the bacteria that we are growing here. So these are the bacteria that causes diseases in the human and then we put honey into these holes and this is the bacteria and these are the holes that your honey, as you can see, honey has prevented their growth. Osterk will be working with his students to learn more about the honey he collected. I have collected about 60 honey samples uh, from overall Texas and 35 honey samples from San Antonio. So with my students, we will analyze their antioxidant properties and antimicrobial properties to see and compare it with the current medicinal honeys sold on the market. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.